The components required for this experiment are ESP32 board, ZMPT, voltage sensor, LCD display, I2C converter, breadboard, 2 pin, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log into the Blink.Cloud Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Click on New Template, and here enter the template name. AC Voltmeter. Then select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the Run button. Now go to Data Streams. Now click on New Data Stream and select Virtual Pin. Here enter the variable name and select the pin number as V1 and data type as double and here give the maximum value as 500 if you want we can change this color now click on the create button now go to web dashboard and drag the gauge widget now click on the settings of this gauge and here we need to select the data stream now click on the save button now save the template now go to devices and here click on new device and then select from template. Here we can see the template which we created. Select the template and click on the create button. Now copy this template ID, template name and authentication token and paste in our program. Here we need to install these libraries. So I will paste the link of this library in the video description. Now upload the program to the ESP32 board. So for that go to tools, go to board, ESP32 Arduino and select ESP32 dev module. Then select the port. And now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that download the Blink IoT application from the play store. Now once you open the application, you can see the template which we created from the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template and go to settings icon. Then click the plus button from the bottom. Now add a gauge widget. Now click on the gauge and choose the data stream. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.